Hey, hi, I'm Charles Eckel. I'm here at the IETF Hackathon in Montreal. Uh, this is our second time in Montreal uh, with the Hackathon and our 14th Hackathon. So we started the Hackathon about four years ago, and the, the, the idea was there was really two main goals. One was to advance the pace and relevance of IETF standards. And the other one was to bring more people, especially more developers, young people, into the IETF and get them involved. And that first hackathon four years ago, we had 40 to 50 people, just a handful of projects, touching on a few different areas that the IETF uh, had work going on. And as you can see from uh, looking behind me, we have uh, quite a few bit more folks here, about 40 different projects, really touching on just about everything that the IETF does. And it's just been great to see those projects, the collaboration, the things they're learning that they're going to take back into their, their working groups, uh, really to course correct where necessary, but also come up with implementations of what it is they're standardizing to make sure that they're complete, that they're implementable, that they actually work as, as uh, expected or as hoped. The other thing, probably about 25% of the people who are here, it's actually their first time at any uh, IETF event, not just at the hackathon, but their first experience with the IETF. And so that's just really fantastic to see too. A lot of people coming, finding that they can contribute to the IETF in a way that makes sense for them or is rewarding to them, that they contribute with code, with ideas here in the hackathon. Some of them came just for the hackathon, but what we're seeing and really our goal is for them to stay, to get more involved in the IETF, for this to be a good first experience and introduction to how the IETF works and the people who are here. And uh, we're seeing that work and, and pay off uh, with each hackathon. So special thanks, I should say, to, um, to our sponsors. Um, ICANN stepped up to sponsor not just this hackathon, but actually the next two. We thank them for their support. We welcome other sponsors. I uh, also want to thank Cisco DevNet, my team, and the folks from Novaflow, both of who added their support to make this hackathon possible.